Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to test outgoing emails in SharePoint on-prem setup using PowerShell. So I'll give a brief overview as to why that scenario would be there. Uh, what do we understand by outgoing email settings? Why do you need to test? What are the ways to test using PowerShell? And I'll give an overview run through of a few PowerShell code samples. So on troubleshooting SharePoint email issues, as a first step, we have to check outgoing email settings applied on SharePoint central administration sites, whether they are valid or not. Um, so how to test SharePoint outgoing email quickly? Here in this video, I'll be presenting a few PowerShell scripts uh, to assist uh, in such troubleshooting. As for me, I'm Yurish Arora. You can reach me at yurisharora.com. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, it's important that we first check that the email settings as applied on the central administration sites are valid. And uh, once they're valid, I mean, we know they're, they're properly been set up, um, then we can troubleshoot further as to why the outgoing emails are not working. Uh, I might just quickly show you this uh, SharePoint administration area. Um, so if you go to this, uh, if I go to online, uh, sorry, on-prem setup, this is my on-prem setup, <clears throat> you would go on the left side, the central administration, click on the system settings, then there is a setting called configure outgoing email settings. So when you click on that, that's where you define your mail server, uh, from address and reply to address. So, <clears throat> So that, as I mentioned, that the next step would be, you know, what sort of uh, ways we have to check if the outgoing settings, email settings, are working or not. So in this uh, video, I basically mentioned three different ways that uh, you can have the PowerShell script uh, to make use of. First one is using the SP Utilities Send Email method. You could use the .NET SMTP Send Mail functionality to verify the email communication or you can use the PowerShell 3.0's send email message uh, functionality. So I've given a brief sample code here for the first option for using the SP utility um, send email option. So as you can see here you set up basically for configuration parameters then you get the, the object of the SP web and finally using the same SP utility you send, uh, call its, uh, its method called send email pass the parameter to test it. Okay, so if you go for the second method, um, this one is uh, using the SMTP uh, send mail, so which is the SMTP client approach. So again, we set up the, the parameters there. We rely on the, the outgoing um, configuration details, which is the outgoing email server settings, as I just mentioned earlier. I showed you the area. Um, in the SharePoint central administration and then you basically set up additional properties uh, to form the email message by calling the SMTP clients method called dot send and then that's how you verify it. Um, and finally uh, the third method here is um, using the PowerShell 3.0 uh, send mail message approach again bunch of parameters to subject body get the outgoing configuration settings and then use the send dash mail message and bypassing these parameters and you can do the testing uh, of the email communication. So let's uh, just quickly recap about what we talked uh, in this video. So we basically discussed as to why do you need uh, to perform such a test or such check as a part of the troubleshooting exercise. Then I've given three examples of PowerShell uh, based uh, approaches that you can use to troubleshoot the outgoing email settings. That's all for me. Thanks for watching.